This next song we're going to take a look at is a 90s classic interstate love song by Stone Temple Pilots. And this is a great one for some introduction into some strange jazz chords. Now, as hard rocking as the Stone Temple Pilots appeared to be, I think they had a softer side. And you can kind of tell with this tune in that they're using a very, I want to say, Brazilian jazz progression. I think maybe after the gig, they were uh, maybe wooing some ladies to some Stan Getz and Joe Beam. I don't know. I don't know. But it sure sounds like it. If I were to take that verse progression and do my best Brazilian jazz impersonation, you might get something like this. Kind of hear it a little bit? strum pattern. Pretty much the overlying strum pattern of the whole song. And if I just mute, my strum pattern is down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down. Or as Trent Nelson likes to say, the George of the Jungle uh, strum pattern. George, 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 George. How's it go? How's it go, Trent? George, George, George up the jungle. George, George, George up the jungle. George, George, George up the jungle. To 
each his own. That works too. If that works for you, use it. All right. Now, my first chords in that intro, I'm kind of citing the first half of the chorus. And you can hear that guitar line too. He's playing the melody of the chorus. And I'm starting off with a C sharp minor seven. And what I'm doing is I'm barring the fourth fret. My middle finger goes on the fifth fret on the second string, and my third finger goes on the sixth fret on the fourth string. And I strum from my A all the way to my high E. Right, that's my chord. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to go to an E major chord. Right, so we should already know that one. Then I go to an A chord, a bar chord up here, on the E string, 5th fret with an E shape in front of the bar. Uh-huh. Then back to A flat, same shape, just down a half step, then back up again to A, and then I hit an E, and I just hold it out. Now here's that whole strum pattern with Sorry, here's the whole intro with the strum pattern. Three, four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you want to play the guitar line, here it is. I'm starting here at the 6, on the G string, down to 4 on the G string, then 6 again, 6, 4, 6, so first two measures, mm -hmm. then I slide down to 4 and 2 on the D string. That's the line there, so I'm going 4, 2 on the D string, 2, 3, 4, back up to 4, then slide up to 6 on the D string, then 5 on the G, then 4 on the B. If I put that together, I've got... Mm -hmm. My last line is off the B string. I'm going to go 5, 4, 6 on the G. I'm going to pull off that 5, 4. Mm -hmm. And then I finish on 4 on the G string. Here's that uh, last two measures. If I put the whole thing together, 1, 2, 3, 4... nifty intro, especially if you're playing in a duo type situation. After that intro, after the hold, now I want to do the lick.